five at five. Happy Friday. Ooh, let's see if anybody's joining in this evening. Oh, hi. Hi, Shaquilla. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Maz. Hello. Gosh, this feels very quiet in here at the moment. Hi, Linda. It's so nice to put people's names to their Instagram handles. Sometimes I'm not quite sure who's who. And then every now and then somebody outs themselves by sort of DM or something. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's you. <laughs> Finished work on time. Very good. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Hi, Sue. Hi, Chris. Right. Hello, Sarah. Looking forward to seeing you. Oh, and Sarah Bailey as well. Or not, Sarah Quashy. I am sorry. <laughs> Somebody brought in, um, a lady brought in a pattern this week. It was a Tilly and the Buttons pattern. Oh, I can't remember. It was the Lyra. And um, she brought her Lyra in and we were talking about fabrics and things and she kept going for the pictures and I was like, looking at Sarah like, I know her. I know her. <laughs> She's my friend. <laughs> right, everyone. Gosh, there's a few of you on this evening. That's nice. I didn't think I would have anything new to show you this week. Um, but I do, <laughs> which is a miracle um, because I had this delivery that arrived this morning. I did pop it on my stories. Um, and essentially, I've got a great big restock of things that have sort of sold out over the last few weeks and it was quite funny in a way because usually the courier that brings my big bags of fabric um he has my mobile number and he'll call me and then and he'll say he'll pull up at the side of the shop at the back and there's a gate and a back door and he'll say I'm here love open your gate so I was expecting this phone call and it never came. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to pop to B&M across the street and get some milk. So I came back from B&M and lo and behold, there was about 15 bags full of fabric all stacked in the vestibule doorway of the shop. <laughs> I'd only been gone five minutes. So I must have had a different driver. Um, but the shop door opens out. So I then had to move all of the fabric out of the shop door. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit like... Oh, <laughs> fortunately, another another lovely shop owner came across and gave me a hand, but oh, so much stuff. But yes, that does mean that a lot of your favourites are back in stock. So, notably, Gingham in the duck egg colourway is back and the black colourway of Gingham. I'm just looking over there to see what else there is. Um, black Ponte Roma is back in. Um, I've restocked all of the shades of plain cotton jersey. So... Anybody who was waiting for the Fuchsia cotton jersey should have been notified on the back in stock notifications, but that's back. The mid wash eight ounce denim is back. Um, and yeah, it felt like there was a lot of stuff. Things will come to me as I go along, I'm sure. But I did at the same time receive um, some new plain double gauzes for the summer and some other bits and pieces so we can go through those now and I'm just hoping I've got the angle set up correctly on YouTube because it looks a bit weird but <laughs> I hope it's okay um I seem to have a full-on like reset of all the settings on my vlogging camera and ever since then nothing's quite been right it's like going back to the beginning so I hope everybody's well anyway had a bit of a mad afternoon here because I had to go home so if you've been by the shop this afternoon and I wasn't here I'm very sorry but um, I had a delivery of concrete for <laughs> we've been making a shed base in our back garden and I had to go back and help wheelbarrow the concrete in and then quickly change and come back to work so <laughs> it's all been a little bit madness so double gauze Love it. If you're a relatively new sewist and you don't know what double gauze is, in brief, double gauze is a lovely lightweight cotton fabric um, and it is made up of two layers of 
gauzy cotton, so very fine, which are then sort of tacked together at little intervals throughout to make double gauze. You can also get triple gauze, um, but double gauze is, tends to be the popular one. And what you end up with is a lovely, soft and lightweight, beautifully breathable, just, it's like wearing a cloud. There's the fabric when it's done. Um, and yep, I've got these in all sorts of different colors and I completely forgot what I was about to say to you. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's nice to sew with. It has a lovely sort of crinkly texture to it. So you don't need to go mad with pressing it to try and get the wrinkles out. It's supposed to be gently wrinkled and I guess it's over, been otherwise known as, as cheesecloth, sort of back in the day. Um, it's a lot like, like the kind of um, like straining cloths. You know, you can use double gauze for sort of straining fruits and jams and things like that. So, yeah. So, Mandy is correct. It's absolutely perfect for the beach. It's ideal for the summer. It's just beautiful. Um, sort of. You, could, you can make anything, dresses, blouses, those sort of loose throw-over cardigan style jackets, caftan type things. Um, really, really lovely. I made a blouse um, not last year, the year before, out of double gauze and I absolutely adore it. So I'm tempted to add a few more double gauze or items to my summer wardrobe, particularly with holidays being booked. Um, so this is, yeah, palazzo pants would be gorgeous, wouldn't they? And summer nightwear as well, sort of soft, very light pyjamas for when it's warm. Which is kind of hard to believe because it's still cold, isn't it? Uh, this is the coral colourway. And I have got eight different colours this season, <laughs> if you will. This is my summer selection. You made the saguaro. It is saguaro, isn't it? That's how you say it. Set. Yes. So did Rianne for the blog. If you go over onto the blog, she's got the saguaro set. I'm sure I'm. I'm not sure I'm saying it right. She has that set. Yes, as a co-ord on my blog, and it looks stunning. She's got it in blue. I bet yours is beautiful too. It would be nice as a soft overshirt. I feel. I think there's one of the simplicity patterns that's shown in double gauze that's like a co-ord with soft trousers and a soft shirt and every time I look at it I'm like that's really cool but it also could be pyjamas like where do you draw the line <laughs> so yes you could use that double gauze you got a few weeks back for that exactly yep I still got that awful piece of that that's really messed up and I was thinking about dyeing it black so that's coral it's like the walking dead coral um <laughs> that's so neat this is a lemon i don't think we had yellow last year beach pajamas yay <laughs> or what i would call outside pajamas that's what i always think of with a co-ord the outdoor pajamas oh you made a bakerloo how did you go on with the collar with that did i suppose if you interface it it'd be, it'd be really nice yeah there's so many patterns that you could use it just works so this is the yellow now i'm going to preface this by saying they only all came in today so i just used the suppliers pictures on my website and over the weekend i'm going to go back and take my own photos because i don't like their pictures very much and the yellow in particular of theirs looks really like fluoro <laughs> and it's not as you can see it's just the perfect shade of, of lemon which is not really one of my colors but at least i don't think it's like a really buttery lovely yellow so that's that's beautiful i always think yellow looks really really good when you've got a good tan <laughs> which i never do because i'm the palest of the pale and that's the yellow and i'll post a picture to stories later on of them all together but I unintentionally bought a rainbow and I'm quite happy about that because I like rainbows. You used a lacy trim for the collar. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's quite retro as well, isn't it? Right, this one is ivy. Very sort of sagey. Um, speaking of which, a sage brush out of double gauze is ideal if you just want a nice simple make. But I love this. It's like a really nice soft green. I am so into my soft greens at the moment slight obsession so there we go I'll show you that far colour 
You're going to have to shout up when we get through these and let me know which your favourites are. So that's number three. Number four is uh, French Navy. Now I've had some of these in stock before, so if you've been around a while, they won't be new, new to you, but they are new for this season. Hoping that colour's coming up okay there, but yeah, a nice sort of lighter navy. More like a dark denim, really. You've done several sagebrush tops. Well, there you go. Very accomplished. I only have this one sagebrush and I've got mixed feelings about it. I love the pattern and I love the style, but I'm not wild on this fabric on me. It, I feel like it saps me a little bit, but um, yeah, nice... Um, a nice cotton lawn sagebrush would be lovely. I'll tell you what else would be nice. Um, like a, a gown, you know, like a just a gentle sort of flowing dressing gown. Just for summer days. Teal. <laughs> I think that basically speaks for itself. A lovely, rich, deep teal shade. There. But you can just see that softness. It's, oh, it's just delightful. It's always popular. And I have learned my lesson from two years ago and will not be keeping this anywhere near the windows. I don't want it to fade. You love that, Sarah. Well, you can come and stroke it tomorrow. Social Stitches is on tomorrow and I'm excited. Um, and finally, we've got Grape, which is just a lovely purple shade. Very, very movie. Nice. See that there? It kind of goes with my uh, nails. I don't. <laughs> Does shirring work? I've never tried to shir double gauze. I would say so because it's very light, isn't it? Has anybody shirred with double gauze before? Please do feedback. I think that would be really nice on a like on, on something like a maxi style or. Um, we were thinking about. I was speaking to Lucy from. Um, from So Cumbria who teaches for me who runs some of the workshops and we were talking about the possibility of doing a shirt dress workshop so if you fancy that do let me know oh Lynn's done it, it works a treat there we go white, now I've never stocked white before but I feel like this is like a definite gap because that to me is the colour that I would want to wear for a beach item <laughs> You've shared double gauze before, but had to size up a little because of the shrinkage. Oh, really? Pattern recommendations for a summer dressing gown. I have just made the Love Notions compose robe. That took a moment. Um, there are quite a few robes in Simplicity. They are pretty good for lightweight ones. I can't think of the numbers off the top of my head, but I can picture the designs. Um, so they're very good. Yeah, I like the white and I also am um, kind of toying with the idea of doing something with either the white or the black and embroidering on top of it, which I think could be really, really pretty. Sort of inspired by those Grecian kind of designs where you've got the white, either linen or cottons, and then you've got the blue embroidery on. That could be so pretty. And finally, black. A really good practical black. And yeah, I just think that would be really, really nice. Especially, you know, when you think about evenings, warm evenings, that kind of thing. But, but yeah, I've never had the plain white and black before, but um, I think that would be spot on. Oh, hi, Nick. I hope Centre Parks is nice and not bankrupting you. <laughs> so those are all eight colours. Let me know which you like the best. I like them all, but um, white and black actually have my eye at the moment. Mm. Okay. Let's see. What else have we got? Now then. Ooh. I'll move a few bits out of the way because I want to show you these denims first. I don't know if it was last week or the week before. <laughs> oh, colour blocking. Yeah. You could do different tiers or something, couldn't you? I'd like sleeves. 
Oh, there's a right mixture. Trillium by Made by Ray. Ooh. That's a nice one. I like Made by Ray patterns. I keep thinking about getting those in, maybe. Okay, denim. So, was it this last week or the week before we were talking about coloured denims? So that was my homework and I can present to you turquoise denim. <laughs> now I have had this before but I haven't had it in for a while but you can, I think you can even see on the screen just how vibrant this shade of turquoise denim is. It's a stretch denim. So, and I think we've covered this before but stretch denim is not that stretchy. It's a bit stretchy. It's just got give. It was last week. Thank you, Carolyn. You are my uh, my brain. <laughs> um, I would describe the weight of this denim to be very similar to a cotton canvas. It's not heavy like a full-on rigid jeans denim, but it's not lightweight like a chambray either. It's somewhere quite in the middle. Um, I have used this weight of denim to make a denim jacket before. I've had customers who've made jeans and pants in it before, obviously a little bit lighter than the regular sort of jeans that you would buy. Um, skirts, you can basically, dresses, anything. <laughs> it's a very, very versatile weight. So it's not super duper thick, but it's also not fine. So it's not got a massive amount of drape. So if you were making, wanting to make the Thea trousers from Tilly and the Buttons, this would be a great candidate. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really nice. Do you need to use a specific, you don't need to use a stretch pattern specifically, but it is suitable if your pattern asks for stretch denim, if that makes sense. So is it, oh, I'm gonna try and get this the right way around. Closet car, the Morgan jeans are for non-stretch denim. So you would want a rigid denim for them and you could use this, but you wouldn't get that rigid shape. But the other one that they do, come on, Carolyn's on the live, she'll tell me what it is. What's the other closet car jeans pattern? <laughs> Not Morgan. <laughs> Let me see if I've got it in. That one is specifically for stretches. Now, sometimes they tend to specify a stretch percentage. And I've never come across stretch percentages like some of them ask for. Ginger, that's the I knew you'd know. Um, <laughs> ginger is for stretch denim um, but yeah I think these will be fine if you pattern asks for stretch denim these will be fine um, so a few of you asked for bright pink and this is as bright a pink as I think we can find and this is just fab isn't it gingers need a lot of stretch so there we go very very bright proper fuchsia pink yep a sorrento in that would be stunning so i did my sorrento in like the soft mauve kind of pink but this is this is loud pink this is like pink pink you know like really pink <laughs> you know what i mean magenta <laughs> yep so this is just it's that pop of color that we all want and then you can team that with any of the prints or with plain jerseys or with the nice double gauzes we go with lots of lovely things so i predict that this one is going to be popular i predict a riot okay mm. pinker than pink pinker than pink is right the next few are a little bit random but um here goes anyway um Oh, the other thing that came back in was um, this one, Vibrant Blooms, I think this one is called. <gasps> How nice is that with that? How nice do they look together? Make it so. Dress in that one, jacket in that one. Um, I'm brave enough to make it. Oh, Melanie, be brave. What colour would I top stitch it with? Oh, gosh. I don't know. You'd have to have a look, really, and try a few different things. Maybe like a white even could look nice. Just something pale. 
but yeah, they do they do go together very well, don't they? Anyway, I digress. So what made me think there is Vibrant Blooms is a viscose twill. And I've got another viscose twill here. So it's exactly the same base, but a different print. And this one's a bit lighter, but as you can see, a really pretty sort of watercolour-esque floral. So, oh, it's just, it's just so lovely. Get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. What do we think? Beautiful. I'm going to bring that a bit closer. Find the tea. So you can just see that print there. Very nice. Oh, yes, Vibrant Blooms for Lyra. So pretty. That would be nice shirt as well, wouldn't it, as a shirt dress? You've had your colours done. I want to get my colours done. Yeah, please tell us where you got your colours done. <laughs> Maybe we could get somebody to come down to the shop and do like a group of us. That would be cool. I would be so up for that. A colour analysis party. Two hours. Wow. Amazing. Have you seen the videos of people doing colour analysis on TikTok? <laughs> it's awesome. It's just like, oh, wow. Right. So, yes, beautiful. I'm trying to think what I've called this one. I think it might have been something like Summer Skies. Um, but that is available. Again, I'll get some better pictures of them over the weekend. But it's on there and available if you were looking for it right now. Yeah, I th they are national. I think we've got one near us in Carlisle, Nick, or Preston, maybe. I think I looked at that once. Right. Okay, so a couple of canvases now. So cotton canvas and really, really nice for your bag making. That's just reminded me of something else that's back in stock, which is um, the Aztec cotton canvas, which is what I'm using for my um, oxbow tote. So that's back in. But this one's a little bit cheaper, actually. I think these are coming in at about £12 a metre. So really nice price. Um, 143 wide, so a decent width. And you can see here we've got some nice soft florals on the go. So cotton canvas, we could be using this for anything. Not just bag making, it would make nice skirts. Could even make a pair of trousers with it. Yep, you absolutely can wear whatever you want. I mean, I wear colours that I don't feel are my colours if I like them. But definitely things like this, I don't feel like it's... I don't feel like me in it, if you know what I mean. Yep, hats, perfect. Anything like that. Cushions would be lovely. Although not waterproof, you could make some little garden cushions with this. That would be nice. Um, yeah, just about anything really. <laughs> so that's like a soft watercolour floral. Um, I think I called this spring. Spring something. <laughs> that was earlier on. So that's available now i think there'll be a number of webbings that will contrast nicely with that and should be getting new bag making supplies in next week um so that will be good and here we go this is the second this one is purple haze and isn't this just glorious very pretty there we go you can see that print up a little bit closer there There we go. So a nice floral print. That might be upside down, but you get the gist. <laughs> and you can get the size of that there. So I think for your summer sort of bag making and crafting, that's going to be really lovely. Kind of feeling a little bit inspired by the idea of garden cushions there. Um, I've got more canvas on the way next week as well, including a couple of waterproof ones or water resistant ones. So they'll be really good for, for the bags. So those are the canvases. It's quite a
quite a lot here actually isn't there? <laughs> I've just got three more things to show you and, uh, and then, then we'll be caught up for this week. Mm. Okay, so one of the weeks we were chatting about embroidered cottons. I think somebody had sent me a message about embroidered cottons actually. Um, and I'd had them on my mind and I'd been looking at a few options so I've plumped for a few here and this is <laughs> this is going to be hard to show because it's black and black and cameras just don't show up very well but this is an embroidered poplin um, and I've got this one this particular one in black and white and I'm just hoping that if I hold that up can you see the like little leaves it's like a little leaf design and then with your eyelets and it, yeah it's just really pretty isn't it so it's sort of a bit in the vein of the black double gauze I could see this just working really really well for for summer dresses I really have a hankering for a black summer dress there we go so can you see they're kind of going sideways when you're looking at the grain so they're not pointing up or down they're like sideways <laughs> So oh, yeah, what's that there? Bit of fluff. I'm into that, I think that's nice. And it's a good width. Often I find that the sort of brodery type fabrics tend to only be 45 wide, but these are full width, so that's nice. Um, and you could use that for any Me 2016, what's that? Um, you could use that for any number of styles or dresses that kind of thing blouses would be a blouse would be beautiful in this wouldn't it very sort of you could wear that for work even um you might see the shape a little bit better on the white and again these do need photographing properly i'm just going to hold this up for you here hi kim hope you've recovered from last week okay can you see that there just a little bit clearer so a bit like a sideways leaf so very nice indeed so they're both poplins so they've got a decent amount of weight um i'm going to hold this up on the single for you just to see give you an idea of opacity that was a big word wasn't it hello annette i didn't know you were there Oh, Annette. Annette left me a comment about on YouTube about doing a video one week about all the unloved fabrics. And I just thought that is such a good idea. And I nearly did it this evening, but then these turned up this morning and I thought, well, we'll get these shown. But yes, when I've got a week where I don't have new stocking, I think that is such a cracking idea, Annette. So because there's so many that I'm like, why does it not sell? <laughs> so you might just need your attention drawing to it. So there we go that's me in one layer of that so I don't think that's overly see-through personally I'm not sure that would actually require a lining <laughs> people <laughs> it's like them um, them trends where they do that and then you've disappeared <laughs> so yeah what do we think I think they're very pretty I think they're going to be popular they're going to do well so black and white in the poplins and then I've also got a cotton voile voile which is embroidered and voile is finer it's a bit more sheer um, and this one's got a really pretty little floral design on it which really sort of took my eye because it's not your traditional um, brodery style embroidery because we don't want to look like a pram set if you know what I mean and again these are going side to side which is kind of unusual but there we go so you can see the little flowers very nice now voile by contrast is more sheer you can see you can see quite a bit of me through this and you can see the shelves behind so a lot finer and you know if you were doing something like a throw over type thing that you might wear like a cami or a swimming costume beneath or you could just pop a lining underneath it something like a plain cotton poplin or a cotton lawn um that's fine too but yeah really nice so 
just slightly different options there. One that's a bit more opaque and one that's a bit more sheer. But these are always popular in the summer. And again, things like the sagebrush, just ideal. Really lovely and simple. So I think that's everything new for this week. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that came back in as I was sort of cramming things back on the shelves this afternoon but I think it was mostly jersey you'd bought a lot of jersey recently so um next week I am expecting um linens if anyone asked for linens they're coming next week um so I've got a lot of new linen coming next week um and then possibly next week as well some new viscose and um i think some printed double gauze i've got an order the washed cottons that sold out really quickly hopefully they should be back in next week so if there's anything you are waiting on including the light colored eight ounce denim that i made my fears in that should be coming back next week so make sure you pop your email address into the back in stock notifications and then you'll find out as soon as it comes in have I got interfacing back in? Which weight? Because I've got woven is back in, heavyweight is back in, um, and I already have lightweight and medium, so yeah, I think so. <laughs> Do I have any plans for swimwear? If I can find some good swimwear fabric, yes. I am struggling to find it wholesale. Um, so I'll keep my eye out. I've, I've got some options there so I'll, I'll keep an eye out for swim because it's definitely something we've talked about here uh light yeah light is here so i'll have to check the website is it showing out of stock i'll check i'll check that it's available but i've definitely got some oh hi helen nice to see you too <laughs> yes linda i saw your shorts and they were beautiful fry fry the window <laughs> Oh dear me. Does anybody have anything else they want to add or ask just whilst I finish my tea? And I get cleared up and ready for social stitches in the morning. I'm very excited to see everybody. It's always a really happy, positive day. Which pattern did you use, Linda? They were lovely. They look really, really sort of tailored. I want to make the True Bias Danny shorts this summer. I didn't have time to make them last year. And Oh, that's a thought with the double gauze. The um, True Bias Maeve skirt would be beautiful. The linens, Annette, are a similar weight to the ones that I've stocked in the past. They are 230 grams per square metre. If that adds any perspective. Um, kind of a mid-weight. So I'll show you next week when they're here actually got the invoice for them yesterday and gasped I was like, <laughs> I was like did I spend that much <laughs> so I hope they sell well <laughs> something for a yellow wrap dress in rich colors you'd like would you like me to have a look for you I would say this ghost jersey is perfect um if you want rich, I'm going to suggest this one. Cobalt blue, royal blue cotton jersey is back in stock. Helen, it's available now. So this is the orange pop viscose jersey. So that, they're quite rich. Nice. That would be lovely. So I think that would work well for your wrap dress. That's a pattern that I've yet to try, and everybody raves about it, don't they? I really should get around to doing that this year, like everything else. So, yep, that's a nice option. Or oh, the peacock feathers one is also very vibrant. That's that's a lovely viscose jersey in the bright pink. So, yeah, that would be really nice. Ooh, all right. Well, oh, no, actually, if you want something a little bit different, how about this one? Because this is wild and I, I love it. But it would look really cool over that length. Oh, how, how different is this? 
<laughs> but then sort of when you've got shaping and a bit of ruching in it it's going to break that up a little bit and I just think it's very cool but those are definitely good vibrant colours aren't they what do they call this one illusion Ooh, that sounds quite exotic doesn't it yeah it's cool isn't it very different so I hope that helps too much purple you've come to the wrong place if you're gonna say too much purple <laughs> right then okie doke I'm gonna leave that there for this evening and go and get the mugs out and get the tables tidied and get ready for tomorrow but I hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you next week with some linen with a bit of luck if it all turns up okay so thank you for joining everybody and thank you for all your comments and yep I'll see you next week bye bye happy sewing